Uh, ladies and gentlemen, honorable members, the Speaker of Parliament, His Excellency Yoweri Kagutam Seveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, plus the bench warmers and the crowd at home watching us on TV. My name is Dr. Honorable Mr. His Excellency Professor Matia Kasaija, the Minister of Finance of Uganda. I am here to present to you the national budget of Uganda. And uh, here, it's here. National budget of Uganda 2020-2021, like Mr. Seven says and calls it 2020. So today, I am going to read it for you. It's here. Now, this budget is, uh, is not a deficit. It's a balanced budget. A lot of things have balanced. Let me move it around for all of you to see. I think you can see. Well, in this year, we have encountered a lot of uh, profits, a lot of losses. We have got money. We have lost money. But before we begin, I want to take a selfie and show everyone in my clan that I am here. Who knew that a man from deep down in the village Matia Kasaija. <laughs> so let me take this selfie for my wife and my girlfriend. Eh, sorry, for my wife. What's happening, baby? Anyway, so Mr. President, allow me to begin the national budget. In this year's national budget, we have allocated money to people who have suffered because of floods and rising water levels in eastern and uh, southwestern Uganda. These rising water levels, Mr. President, have been caused by the women, Banyangoda women and uh, Watoro women, who have decided to settle around the lake shores and the river banks. So we are going to give them two trillion shillings to go back to Ankore and Toro such that water can be splashed there. Also, Mr. President, Part of the national budget, 12% of the national budget, we are going to extend electricity to areas of Nigeria and Chiwatre. Since those areas ever have road shedding, you hear people from Nigeria shouting, umeme, 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 umeme. So part of the national budget is for electricity in Nigeria and Chiwatre. We have also allocated uh, 5 trillion shillings to the people of Nansana. Five trillion shillings is going to the people of Nansana because these people have become a laughing stock on social media. Everyone on Twitter, Facebook, where is talking about Avantube Nansana, Avantube Nansana. So if you get to get trillion shillings, Avantube Nansana be younger Okurumia, Avantube Nigeria. Mr. President, the number of miracles in the country, Uganda, has reduced ever since you closed the churches because of the COVID lockdown. But some prophets of some churches have been seeing things coming, but they did not want to tell us. It is therefore that we have decided to allocate 1.7 trillion shillings to a one known prophet, Elvis Mbonye, such that he can tell us the government prophecies and things before they happen. Not these things of his saying that uh, I saw it coming, but I didn't want to warn you. Please, Mbonye, we are going to give you 1.7 trillion shillings such that you can warn us in advance. Mr. President, uh, also we have allocated some money to the gentlemen of Uganda, the single men of Uganda who are not married. This money is uh, 25 billion shillings. This money is for the gentlemen who are single to increase the transport money they have been giving to their girlfriends. Before the lockdown, they were giving their girlfriends 5K without withdrawal charges. And when the girls would come, the men would want the women to do some things, even at times by force. But now, men, this 25 billion shillings going to every single man in Uganda is to enable you send 10,000 shillings to your girlfriend plus withdrawal charges. And also to the women, when you, a man sends you his 10K with withdrawal charges, please and please do the needful when you go to his place. Do things that he wants you to do. 
things like reading the Bible, you kneel down and pray with him, watch a movie together such that uh, his money and transport does not go to waste. And uh, the following morning, cook for him breakfast. I think that is clear. Mr. President, um, we have allocated uh, one trillion shillings to musicians who should stop singing. Their music career is ruined. They don't even have a, a career. They're not talented. Their music makes a noise in our ears. Their music is disgusting. These people, this one trillion shillings is to give, is for them to go and do things like farming. Farming, do other things. Stop singing. Because your music has led to, to, the, decri to the decline of the economy of Uganda. So the following include Fresh Daddy. Stop singing with immediate effect from today. Big eye. Oh, you babichi big eye. Hamu feza kare, hamu feza kare, hamu feza kare fiti. Stop it. Full figure. We know you are a senior presidential advisor. You even said things in diology, not biology. Stop singing, stop talking, go and do farming. Full figure. Then finally is a uh, white band. White band, uh, you are a good musician, my brother, my son, my grandson, but. Uh, one particular song of yours, Rem B or Superman. What is a Superman? It is supposed to be Superman. Also, Mr. President, um, ever since this tax was introduced, this tax called uh, TTO, T TTO, Kasaija, what has happened to me? TTO tax, so TOT, OTT, yes. Ever since OTT tax was introduced, Mr. President, one of the best forms of entertainment in Uganda and a production that is nudes has reduced, which has also led to the decline in foreign exchange. Bazungu men no longer want to come to Uganda because of the TT, oh sorry, OTT tax, because women no longer take nudes and send to them, but uh, we shall see uh, how Bad Black is going to work on that. We have allocated... Uh, uh, five billion shillings to Bad Black to work on that. In regards to agriculture, Mr. President, I'm happy to inform you that um, the agriculture sector has performed way better than it has performed before. And this is in terms of not cash crop growing, but uh, goat rearing. Goat rearing, Mr. President, has gone high. Uh, if, for example, Mr. President, Ugandan goats have been crossbred with international goats and they have uh, formed international baby goats. This is an example of a Ugandan goat called Epas. Epas, uh, he was crossbred with uh, an international goat from Rwanda called Sleeping Beauty. These two goats went into Sleeping Beauty and they formed a new breed of goat called Fresh Kid. Mr. President, in the budget, we have also allocated, um, we have allocated 6.5 trillion shillings towards education. Some people are not educated, and uh, we need to take them back to school, like Spice Diana. She still tells us how she got 32 in senior six. In senior six, uh, those days of ours, we would get uh, 25 points. Others now get 20 points. So Spice Diana... After this budget, baby Jangonda, baby Jangonda, we shall talk about taking you back to school. Uh, we've also um, allocated one billion shillings of uh, the national budget to buy pampas, to buy milk, to buy cornflakes, to buy um, Witabix, to buy uh, mashed Irish, Irish potatoes, to buy also sweets to Uganda's cry baby. This one, I'm talking about Eddie Kenzo. When Rema left him, he cried. When people abused him, he cried. So Eddie Kenzo, this one billion is to buy you pampas, milk, cornflakes, Weetabix, sweets, and mashed Irish, Irish potatoes such that you stop crying for us, Uganda government. Where are you? Teturba Jajabo. Museveni gave you a car and you still cried for us in Ivory Coast. So, on that matter, I want me do, let me do, let's do. Mr. President, sir, we have also allocated um, 1.8 trillion shillings 
to a special group of people. These people have failed to accept that they are old. These people do not want to retire from whatever they are doing, Mr. President. Their age does not reflect their appearance. Mr. President, this money, 1.8 trillion shillings, is their pension. We just want to give it to them, and they go, and they rest, and they leave the young generation to take over. Mr. President, these people include Mr. Mosh. Mr. Mosh of, uh, Mr. Mosh, we, know, we all know Mr. Mosh. Mr. Mosh is my OB at Nyakasura School. You see me, I'm old, I'm, I'm over 68 years old. Mr. Mosh, he was my OB and he was five classes ahead of me. Uh, the other OB of Mr. Mosh is uh, our Vice President Edward Sekandi. Also, other, other, other OBs of Mr. Mosh are dead. They died because of old age. So Mr. Mosh should also retire. The second one that really needs to retire, and this one, we have no argument. Mr. President, I have been told that he is your age mate. MC Katz. MC Katz, they say he was born in 1800. He was there when we lowered down the Union Jack and put the national flag up. MC Katz has witnessed Kabaka Mutesa one. M. Sikats is the one who welcomed John Huntington speak in Uganda. M. Sikats was among the people that um, welcomed the first missionaries in Uganda. M. Sikats, most of his OBs have died. Actually, all of them has died, have, sorry, have died. Then finally, is Fresh Kid. Fresh Kid, we see him like a young boy, but Fresh Kid, you are old. Mr. President, Fresh Kid is older than his father. We remember very well you told us here that Fresh Kid was among the people who hid you in Rueru in the bush. So, Mr. President, we are suggesting that you give Fresh Kid a special retirement package. And on that note, that has been the national budget of Uganda. But before we end, I want us to project. Kadaga, I want us to project the national budget. On that note, at the end, ladies and gentlemen, having read for you this budget, uh, I want to tell you, therefore, that the economy of Uganda is now 